Hi guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. I had created two videos regarding UK Skilled Worker Visa, which was previously known as Tier 2 General Visa. My first video was on how to collect 70 points and my second video was how to apply for a UK Skilled Worker Visa when you have collected 70 points. So based on your comments on my previous video, I'll be giving a demo on how you can apply your own Skilled Visa. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos, I'll add the link in the description for your quick reference. Now, before our demo, some of the prerequisites before you apply for a skill visa that you have all the documents that you need to apply, you have collected 70 points, you have got job from eligible approved UK employer, you have COS and you should know the sponsor license of your employer. Also, I have taken scenario for applying outside UK as most of my subscribers are not in the UK but the steps are the same if you are applying from the UK as well. So if you are a student in the UK and have managed to get an offer letter from an approved sponsor, you can follow the same steps but with a different link. So let's get started with the demo now. So this is the government skilled worker visa website where you can read through the details and as covered in my previous video make sure you go through each of this in terms of uh, what are the documents required knowledge of english how much it cost and how you can apply and whether you can apply your partner and children whether you want to extend your visa so make sure you go through this detail in your free time so today i have taken an example of how to apply from outside the uk so simply go and click on start now and now you will be given with different questions. Are you intending to live in one of the crown dependencies of the United Kingdom like this? I would say no and proceed. Do you have current EU, EEA or Swiss passport? I will say no. So I'm just giving example based on scenarios that I have told and I'll be taking example that say you are part of any Asian country and for those answers the, an the answers will be no. Now confirm your visa type. So say you are applying for skilled worker visa. Enter the country in which you are making your application which to provide your biometrics. For example, I'll be saying India. Now make sure you check all these details and here is saying change the country where you're providing your biometric no. Now just click on this and you'll be taken to the FS side because I've selected the country India and if you select any other country it will provide you a different link. So in this example say you want to take your biometrics in India. Now you'll be given option to select which city. So these are the only cities available in India. Say I select New Delhi and then you can see in Delhi I need to visit this place for my visa and then of course you can go through the different packages they have and you can enroll for the one which you like. So going back here I'll say simply I've checked the details and I can travel to this location to my selected country and then just click on next. Now. So this is again a reminder that you will be needing all this before you proceed. So make sure you have your COS, you have the license number of your sponsor, your job details and other, other things. So just click on apply now. At the top you can see we are at stage 1 which is start, now stage 2 is application, stage 3 is document, stage 4 is declaration, pay and further actions in 6. I will be able to show you only till here because in this stage you will have to upload all your documents and then simply click on you know you confirm that the details you are submitting is correct and then you make the payment and your application will be submitted. So first of all you will have to provide your email ID here. Now your certificate of sponsorship, so they will be asking do you have a certificate of sponsorship or not. If you click on no you will not be able to proceed and if you click on yes you need to provide a valid COS. Again if you enter an invalid COS you won't be able to proceed from this stage. So I'll be just using an example from my previous COS. Okay. So another confirmation, what does this email address, whether this email address belong to you or not. So just say yes, you, additional email, just say no. Now next telephone number. 
So just provide your number here. So whether now, where do you use a cell phone number? So you can say for use while in UK, for use out of the UK. So I'll just say outside UK at the moment. Sell it whether this is your home mobile. I'll just say home. No, I'll just say it's my mobile telephone number. Now, do you have any other telephone numbers? I would say no. You can give more details if you have. So just select the one which is best suited for you. I'll select the first one and move to the next. Now, you'll be asked to give your name and your full details. Now, in addition the names approved, are you now or have been ever known by the name? For me, just say it's no and if it's different for you, just give yes and provide the details. Now your gender. Now uh, you need to provide the address where you're staying now. So I'll just take some example. Is this address also your correspondence address? I'll say yes. Move to the next now. How long have you lived at this address? Now you need to select how many years. Uh, say I'm saying three years. And what is the ownership status of your home? So whatever is the correct answer for you. So say I own it. Now move to the next one. Now you must have your passport or travel document to complete the section. So just give your passport details here and where was it issued and your date and your expiry date in this section. Now do you have a valid national identity number? So if you have something like Aadhaar card in India you can use it if you don't just say no and proceed. Now you need to provide the country of nationality. Now, do you currently hold or have ever held any other uh, nationality or citizenship? Just take an example saying no here. We may have to talk to you about your application. Which language would you prefer? I would say English and proceed. If you're applying as a doctor, dentist, nurse or midwife, have you passed an English language day? Da, da, da. Have you provided evidence of your English language? ability in your previous application you must have provided evidence that so there are three categories here so make sure before applying for the skill visa you fulfill the criteria any one of this for this example let me say yes and proceed now do you have academic phd just if you have it just say yes if you don't just put no now give details about two of your parents Now, where you will stay in the UK? So this question, do you know where you will be staying in the UK? If you say yes, you will have to provide the postcode of the details. If you say no, and if you continue, you will at least have to give an idea where you're planning to stay and provide details. So now you have to provide the travel history like have you been to the UK in past 10 years? If you say yes, you will have to provide how many times and you will have to give details. If you say no, you just need to proceed without any further questions on this. Now have you been issued with a UK visa in the past 10 years? If yes, like whether you traveled on tourist visa or work visa, you will have to provide details here. If you travel no, you can just move save and continue now have you ever traveled to this country so the questions are how many times have you visited the following places in the last 10 years australia canada new zealand us switzerland or european economic area based on your travel history you can choose like, uh, the right answer for my example i'm just saying zero and i'm trying to proceed here now the next is have you been to any other countries in the past 10 years but do not include details of this because it has already been covered in the previous question so again if you say yes you will have to provide details and if you say no you can just proceed to the next question now date you plan to arrive in the uk so this question is very important guys so this should match to the letter that you get from your approved sponsor 
So in your CUS, they will say the start date of your employment. So based on the start date of employment, you need to put those details. Say you are supposed to start on 15th of March. Yeah, just give the status and move to the next one. For either of the UK or any other country, have you ever been refused visa, entry at the border, or the other details? Again, to the best of your knowledge, you can answer it. For my example, I'm just saying no and proceeding to the next one. Now, again, have you ever entered the UK illegally or remained in the UK beyond the validity of your visa and the other question? So make sure you spend a little time to read through it. So I'm going to say no for my example here. Now, next is convictions and other penalties. Again, make sure you read through all these details and answer to the best of your knowledge. At any time, have you ever had any of the following in the UK or any other country? Only select one answer at a time. If you need to give more than one answer, you can do so on the other page. So after reading it, I'm going to say, for example, no, I have never had any of this. And then you can move to the next one. Now. The next question is regarding war crimes. So, make sure you read it. In either peace or war time, have you ever been involved in or suspected of involvement in war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide? Again, I'm just saying no for this example. So, please make sure you give the right information based on your history. Now, terrorist activities, organizations and views. Again, for my example, I have read the question, so I'm going to just say no here. Make sure you read all this before you say yes or no. And the next is about extremist organizations and views. Make sure you read all these questions and then give the right answer as per your history. Now, person of a good character, so. Have you as part of your employment or otherwise undertaken paid or unpaid activity on behalf of non-UK government which you know to be dangerous to the interests of national security the UK or its allies? Again, make sure you read everything here and provide an answer based on your character. So for my example, I'm saying no and I'll proceed to the next one. Now your employment history. Have you ever worked in any of the following types of organization? So make sure you read through all of this. For this example, I'm going to say I have not worked in any of the jobs listed above and I'll move to the next one. So the next is sponsor license number. Now, you need to provide what is your sponsor license number as shown in your COS. So if you don't provide the right answer here, you won't be able to proceed to the next one. For today's demo, I'm going to use an old number. Now. So the next question is, has your sponsor agreed to certify your maintenance on your certificate of sponsorship? So based on your agreement with your sponsor, you can answer yes or no. Um, say I'm saying yes for this example. Now you have to give what is the title of the job you're coming to the UK. Say IT developer. So this should match to the CUS and make sure you give the exact job title and how much will you pay so let me say 45,000 now have you reviewed the guidance on profession that require overseas criminal record check if your employment is under soc listed in this you will need to provide a criminal record certificate from your country that have been present for 12 months so guys this is important so i've opened this link here I'll give this in the uh, video description. So make sure you read through the details here. So if I scroll down here, so if you are applying for any of these visas, you will need a certificate from your police, like a clearance. And if you're applying for all these jobs, you will need a clearance certificate from the police. Make sure you read through this in your free time. So coming back here, have you reviewed the guidance on uh, professions that require overseas criminal record check? Just say yes and proceed. And is your employment in a profession that requires overseas criminal record check? So from here, if it falls under this, make sure you say yes. If it doesn't, just say no. Okay. Has your sponsor or employer confirmed you are eligible for the health and care visa? 
Uh, and based on the answer, you can say yes or no. Um, so say I'm saying yes and I confirm and then I move to the next. Are you applying as a midwife or nurse? Say no because this is IT job. Is your job with? Is your job with? So this will be the name of the sponsor based on whatever license number you provided. They will extract the sponsor name on the shortage occupation list. So if the information is correct, just give yes and move to the next one. Now, what is the length of COS? So if it's three years or less or more than three years, again, you can just answer that question. Now, additional information about your application. Now, if you needed to add more information about your application but were not able to write it here, you can provide details. So guys, either you can add more details here or you can leave this blank. So let me just leave this blank and move to the next one. Now, so if you can look at, we are still, still at stage two and we have completed this form. So we have provided all the details that was asked. And on the right, you can see you have option to change it. For example, say you're not happy with information you provided or you provided incorrect information. Uh, you just simply need to click on change and it will take you back to the same page and at the bottom it says return to this application later yeah so you will be provided with this link and then you can log into your email and come back to this application and you have option to sign out you can download this but now let's go back to this page i'll say cancel because my information is correct now guys the moment you move to the next one where you say continue you'll be taken to stage three so now you are in stage three so this stage is just about submitting all the documents which is mentioned here if you go back to the skilled worker visa and like you can see documents you need to apply so make sure you go through everything which they're asking here and upload all the documents here once you upload it, just declare that all the information is correct, make the payment and then for further actions, you will get details about your progress in your email ID. That's all guys. So I hope this video is useful for everyone who is currently looking for to apply for a skilled worker visa on your own. If you have any questions which are not covered in my video, do let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching the video till the end and I'll see you soon with my next video. Keep learning.